Battles for the recent tournament for Star Wars Unlimited $1,000 premier event, uh, $1,000 cash tournament in Washington, I believe. And uh, top, I think it was only 32 players. So it wasn't an amazingly big number of players, but really cool decks. Of course, Sabine is going to be in the finals, but also Palpatine. A lot of people talk really crap about Palpatine. They say give him a really bad name. I really believe he's insanely strong. Of course, if he survives the early game, which Sabine is probably his worst match. If he survives the early game, he can do really well. So let's see how this Palpatine did against the Sabine. Let's jump right into finals of the 1K Premier event in Washington. Let's jump in. Not sure why everything is slower now. It was totally cool earlier. It just lose, it feels like I'm losing frames. Interesting. So Palpatine versus Sabine Palpatine with not a tanky town. It's not a talking town. It's just a 30k aggression base. Aggression seems good. Has a lot of damage. Uh, can control uh, hand. I'm not sure how he's going to do against the Sabine. Insane amounts of power. Let's see. Really strong actually pulling out an Admiral. This Admiral allows him to ready some of his units but he had uh, opponent also can ready right uh, or he, he lets him to play things ready but the opponent can ready units as well which is gonna hurt uh the palpatine player i'm sure he doesn't want to do that he does have that super laser blast that's probably what we're gonna see this turn sabine also can go for the wings of liberty nope instead just gonna opt for the rebel which pushes out five damage attack that's the first attack first hit Sabine also didn't activate her ability last turn, which is interesting. Could have pushed that extra damage in, but uh, already at 5, turn 2, which is very scary for Palpatine. Oh, so we opted away from the Super Laser Blast. Instead, we went for the Emperor Guard, and now we activated our uh, Centennial because of the offic official that's sitting on the side the admiral right there let's see what the admiral wants to do he's going to attack into the sabine leaving her two damage and passing the turn looks like we're going to be able to get rid of that admiral next turn with the palpatine a lot of shaking guys right <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of uh, morning sickness or <laughs> whatever sickness that is but yeah guys We've got the boys running here. I think we, what we could do is we could sacrifice the Admiral here and get that draw instead of attacking with him. But we do lo lose the ability to Centennial. So let's see how that pops off. Ooh, looks like the Rebel power up, allowing both of them to attack with a little bit more power. So the Rebel is going to hit for three, but he dies. Both of them die, but they ki he kills the Centennial. Really bad trade, actually. Centennial proving to be insanely valuable there. Oh my god. Really bad trade. This is not the trade that Sabine wants to push. Oh no, Sabine has nobody on the board. Has to drop down its uh, red three. Nothing else in hand really to deal with this. Sabine's going to pull out and we're going to do some attacks. Let's see how Palpatine deals with this. Wow, Admiral was able to activate his ability because there was nothing on board because that trade. He was able to play the Super Laser Blast standing up because Admiral, because Sabine had nobody to restand and ready. Oh my god, I can't believe Palpatine just pulled that off. Attacking with the Super Laser and then he's going to sacrifice it with his own Palpatine. Let's see what he wants to do. Sacrificing his own Super Laser or the Admiral. The Admiral seems very useful. I'm not sure if Sabine took the initiative here. I think this is a bad idea. I'm not sure if she passed or took initiative. Because I think this is a very bad idea to just pass. You want to pull out your Sabine here. Yep, you want to pull out the Sabine and get rid of... Uh, not even the board. You don't even want to deal with the board. You just want to wait. Oh, that's what happened. I think Palpatine passed. Uh... Wait, I guess Palpatine didn't do anything there and uh, just gave it to the Sabine, let Sabine come out and then he was able to leave that damage. Why four damage? 
Oh, for damage because the red three gives him a plus one because he's a rebel. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. This is actually not optimal for Sabine. Sabine wants to put Palpatine much bigger deficit than just 10 points by turn by six resources. They actually want to put, a, put you in a much, much bigger deficit. They also want a bigger board. Palpatine here can really deal with this very simply. He has options, can do open fire to kill the Sabine. He has, he has options, guys. He has many options here. Let's see what he's going to do. Whereas Sabine is running out of options. Sabine is reducing its hand size. And all he can do here is a K2. K2, K2SO or KS20. I'm not sure how you, how you say that name. But yeah, I, I, all he has here is a KS. I, I, and KS is not enough. I mean, usually it's enough because you put so much damage on board, but the way the Centennial played out, forcing Sabine to just clear her whole board for that Centennial was really detrimental for the Sabine. Now the KS20 doesn't even gain the value that he wants to get, so it actually feels bad to play it down now. Let's see what's, uh, what Palpatine wants to do here. First thing to do could be a pass. Uh, honestly, if you pass, the problem is Sabine's just going to start attacking with everything. So you really want to clear out that board. Um, there's no real way to ambush. Not sure why this guy is drinking instead of playing the game. Must have, must have passed. I don't know. I don't know why he's drinking. Just play the fucking... Uh, play the game, man. Don't drink water. Now we're all, all of us are waiting on Palpatine to finish his Coca-Cola drink. What is this, man? Okay, Admiral activates. Really smart activation by the Admiral to act. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I actually was really angry and mad and I did not like the Admiral. I'm changing my mind now. I never thought about it, but playing Admiral first thing before your opponent even has anything to set sideways is insanely smart. If you have initiative, Admiral is the best play you got. I don't know how I never thought about this, but Admiral actually pays off. I used to, I used to always think Admiral is going to hurt you. No, no, it's, it's giving you so much value here. Ruch now can attack and kill anything on board. Except the Sabine. Palpatine can still activate now and get the value he wants. Rukh is going to clear the Centennial right here. This is very bad actually for the Sabine. I don't know why he played the Centennial. Should have just attacked. Now he loses the Centennial. I don't know why Sabine played the Centennial. Should have just attacked. Sabine's going to try to even everything out and attack more. But why didn't you do that earlier? <laughs> what? Uh, what? I guess he was trying to save his Sabine. But your Sabine would have been okay. Your Sabine doesn't die. And plus, you actually want to lose the Sabine for the Centennial uh, four, four, 4 power attacker, I would assume. Anyways, Palpatine is taking a lot of damage, guys. Even though Sabine is not playing optimally, still doing Sabine works. And she's putting 19 dam uh, 16, 17 damage on to the opponent, which is a lot of damage. Hey, hey. Ugh, man, this guy is drinking water, shaking the whole camera, man. It's very unpleasant to play with this guy. <laughs> but I get it, man. Papatine versus Sabine is very stressful. So I totally understand. Let's see what happens here. How is Sabine going to try to come back? Papatine has options now. Papatine is in a really good position. He's gotten to the late game now. One more turn. He'll activate himself. I mean, he, he's, he's, he, feels, he feels fine. I mean, he's, he's gotten through the worst part of the gameplay. Which is the turn till turn six resources, seven resources. That's your worst part because you can't even deal with the Sabine. Sabine is playing two cards while you're only playing one. But to be honest with you, the Sabine just messed, her, me, me, messed a lot of options uh, with the Centennials, was forced to make really bad decisions. And so the Sabine right now is suffering. They did not play the game optimally. Open fire pumps out the Sabine. That's very sad to the Sabine player, but he can still attack with the red three, get that three damage in, get the opponent to 20 HP, and then start pinging. 
There we are. We're at 20 now. <clears throat> 10 more damage. Sabine is getting to where she wants to get, but uh, looks like Palpatine has answers. In his hand, there's an overwhelming barrage. There's many, many ways for him to deal with whatever the Sabine is going to drop down here. The second he takes initiative, he's going to be fine. So unfortunately, even though Sabine is going to be doing a lot of work here, she's not going to be enough. Also, what Palpatine can do is he could leave, kill the Admiral, leave that one damage on the red three so he can pick it up next turn with the Palpatine. That's another play there, op another option. But Palpatine feels really good right now. His board looks much better than Sabine. He's a lot less healthier than Sabine, but that's normal. That's, that's what Sabine does. Okay, he just flipped his ECL. That means he's using it. Let's see how he's going to use this ECL. Crashing with the KS-20 into the Admiral. Killing the Admiral. Allowing that no damage left. The problem is the KS-20 is actually not happy here. Because... Why did we take 4 damage? Oh, because the Rebel. But the problem is... Can't we steal it? Why didn't he take any damage? Why didn't KS-20 take any damage with this attack? He should have taken damage. Wow, we got him to... We got him to 27 life! This is Sabine, and Sabine does Sabine things, guys. In two, three turns, he wins automatically because Sabine. But Palpatine finally can come out, and Sabine's board is actually empty, so Palpatine is actually in a better position. Bad play, Michael says. Weird play, I'll tell you that. I don't know how KS-20 didn't take any damage from the Admiral. Uh, I miss, I missed something there. Because we could have just stole the KS-20 next turn. No! Sabine shoots <laughs> for honor. <laughs> well, what's the name of this card again? The, oh no, the second he top decks three rebels, he wins. That's game. GG. Sabine does Sabine things, guys. Sabine is just so strong. He should have taken initiative and steal K just for, at the start. Yeah, so K, I think, had some damage on him. We just didn't see it. And he could have stolen the K exactly. He, he could not take that 3 damage from the K. Unfortunately, he took the overwhelm and the 3 damage. It really hurt him. It really, really hurt him. I think K had da uh, damage on him. But we d they just didn't put any damage counters on him or tokens. So yeah, definitely a bad play. That There was a misplay because if he just passed there, he could have just uh, uh, pulled him out first thing. Yep. Unfortunate there. Um, the KS-20, of course, uh, he actually had him two turns earlier, but opted to not play him because he just ha didn't put enough damage onto the board. The second he put that damage on, then it felt better to play KS-20 because losing him doesn't feel that bad anymore. Especially when you use the Overwhelm to deal that damage. I mean, he, he must have gotten... Seven, seven damage out of the K20, which is insane. It's still so bad matchup for the Palpa. It's insanely bad matchup for the Palpa. Palpa did really good uh, uh, decisions here. Opting for the 30 HP base instead of the Tarkin Town. I think Tarkin Town would have been extremely useful, but as you can see, it just cannot keep up. I mean, the, the Sabine doesn't even have to attack. She's got the pings from her own ability, and then she's got the those uh, red event cards. That allowed to push that four extra damage out. It's a very, very cool idea. Let's see. Palpatine's worst matchup is Sabine. I'm very surprised that we got to Palpatine versus Sabine in the finals. Makes sense, though, if all of the gameplay was a bunch of mid-game characters or mid-game leaders. Palpatine will be in the finals 100%. Palpatine just deal has the best matchup for all of these against all these mid-game to late game leaders. Now, if, if the problem is if the meta is ag aggro, which is usually every single meta in every single store and every single big event ever, Palpatine is going to have a bad matchup. Of course, 5 HP is a must here. Yep. Yep. Very interesting. A lot of people opt... Uh, when it comes to Palpatine, 
you you have to opt for the 30 HP base. It's almost impossible for you to run an ECL. <clears throat> it's just not optimal. The Tarkin Town gives you value, gives you really good value. It's just not optimal either. So it makes total sense. Let's see how Palpatine. Uh, one thing that Palpatine will will save Palpatine here is his side deck. He needs this side deck really heavy. <clears throat> Listen to that guy opening your recent debate. The guy is a joke. <laughs> Didn't I tell you nobody messes with me, bro? And did you see how I opened? Did you see my opening statement? That guy's a joke, man. I give him the first question. The first thing he asked me about the... Man, I don't want to talk about it, Vic. I got mad. Anyways, Palpatine... The Palpatine secret is his side deck here. His side deck has to save him. His side deck is his biggest secret here. This is his biggest... Uh, it should make a difference. Don't put the Star Viper in. You need the Star Viper. Don't you dare put the Star Viper in your resources. This is insane. Do not do that. All right. I think that was a cell block. Better option. We need that Star Viper. That Star Viper is going to help us win this game. Or survive a little bit longer. This is a better turn here. Even though we don't get the Admiral... I guess it's not a better turn, but, but we do get that Death Star Trooper that can really start trading really early against the Sabine plays, and it's going to help us out a lot. So let's see what the Palpatine wants to do. One cost here, Death Star Trooper. And then we already have control over the board now, so it's going to help us a little bit against the Sabine. Wow, Sabine doesn't play anything! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Is this the first time I've ever seen a Sabine not play anything turn one? Tough. Tough. He's just as bad as the guy who strikes the debate the hijab. <laughs> Bruh, I, I, man, I deleted that guy from existence, man. I, he almost he changed his religion. <laughs> I kept joking about it, but by the way, you squeaking yourself when moving on your chair. All right, my bad. All right, so let's see what happens. Red 3 is on board. Immediately Star Viper to deal with that. It's going to be a little bit of a tough game. We don't have the super lasers or any resupplies. I wonder if we opted out of them or side them or we just got unlucky with them. Star Viper is on board. It's going to help us a lot. Sabine is very, very sad here. Sabine is the first one to take damage this turn. Wow, Sabine has three damage on her. That's crazy. Okay, so Sabine is not playing optimally. Looks like Palpatine might get this game, honestly, from the way it looks. If Palpatine has full control over the early game with a Star Viper, I mean, there's no way Sabine can come back from this. We'll see. I'll be very interested. That K KS20 is going to be insanely valuable for the Sabine plays. Yeah, there it is. KS20 coming in. Giving out three, uh, three damage into the base. Oh my god, the KS20 is so much value here, guys. Gives three damage out and then gives another three damage to the base. Why does he keep pumping himself to four? Oh, because red three was on board. That makes sense. So this guy was attacking with five damage, actually, not four. Oh my god, so no wonder he's at four. Yo, that KS20 play is broken. I can't believe KS20. Somebody needs to balance KS20. They need to make him a 3 cost so we can steal him with Traitorous. Or they need to make him a 5 cost so it's harder for him to play. They, they need to... But the, the way they play them out at 4, just uncounterable. You cannot deal with him. Star Viper does not get to heal anything, unfortunately. But we could start with a... With the initiative here. Oh, no, no. Actually, we need to play the game. We should not kill our ECL. We should not kill our Star Viper. But I think we're going to have to to get rid of that KS20. We, we just cannot take any more damage from him. Let's see what happens. That car should be L for sure. Yeah, legendary. The car. The, he's talking about KS20. It should be a legendary. Yeah, it's, it's broken. I, th I think that is one of the best cars in the game. Because Sabine... She plays the game outright, and then she plays the KS20 at the end, and you cannot deal with it. You don't want to kill it, because you lose the game, and you don't want it on board, because it freaking uh, kills you. It's just such a hard card to deal with in a Sabine. As you can see, Viper just gives himself out, which I... Th 
the viper, the, the ground viper dying instead of the star viper dying. I think that was a mistake. I think killing, killing the star viper to kill the case 20 and keeping something on board would have been better. Let's see if I'm wrong. Instead, he traded his viper into the case 20. I think it would have been better to kill this star viper. It's already damaged. This guy's healthy, strong, gives you control of the ground. This one's damaged. But there's value in the Star Viper, so I understand why he kept the Star Viper, but just no initiative. Let's see if he can take initiative soon, we'll see. If he takes initiative soon, it'll pay off, because it does take him back a couple of turns. Slows down the Sabine, so it, it is more value, of course. But I think the Palpatine draw and keeping that Viper on board, on the ground, uh, that ground Viper on board would have been a little bit more valuable, just because that draw would have helped a lot early. Immediately Sabine is pushing out damage, already a 9. This is the worst game for Palpatine, didn't get any kind of acceleration for his resources, so he's never going to get to Palpatine, I don't think so. There it is, Sabine is out now. Star Viper is attacking, but it's not getting any value. Okay, good, good. We give the draw to the Sabine, but at least Sabine doesn't get any 3 damage out, which is insane. So this is a really good play here, Force Choke has to be the way to answer the Sabine. You do give him a draw, but this is okay. Worst case scenario is he gets a KS20. But if he doesn't get a KS20, you're you're amazing. You feel so good here. He's He has to play a red 3 or... Oh, another one. A Fighters for Freedom. This is a really good card, Saboteur. Gives him full control over the ground. But he open fires it, kills it really, really strong. Now Palpatine can take initiative here. And start healing up some of his damage. And maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe Star Viper staying alive would, was the right decision after all. And we take the initiative. And let's go. We're going to heal. A l uh, I mean, I don't know if we're going to heal. Because whatever we heal, we're going to take damage. So I think we're going to try to get rid of that dude first on board. There it is. There's the Death Vader. Uh, the Vader. Darth Vader is here. Darth Vader is here, but we cannot play him yet. Unless we have a resupply in hand. Or we play down Super Laser and kill it ourselves. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to play it. So our hand is not optimal here. We do have some healing. We can play that Centennial. I think we do go for the Centennial. Keep the board safe. Uh, instead, opting for some healing. Potentially, he's thinking about playing another green unit, maybe. That's why. We'll see. Yeah, the Rebel is just pushing so much damage out, and uh, we're now at 12. This is big. At least we can heal a lot now. We got the Centennial down. We got a heal. Wow, this is an amazing play. I didn't know that he has an Emperor Guards in his hand. I only saw the Yularen and the Death Va Darth Vader. Yularen into Emperor's Guard is the, optimal is the most optimal play in the world here for Palpatine. There's nothing better for Palpatine to do here. Then display, and then heal some with Star Viper. This is insane. There you are. We healed with the Star Viper, finally. Star Viper just took Sabine back a full turn. There's almost like a full turn. Oh my god. No, we actually healed 4 HP this turn, which is insane. Not sure we actually need the Ruthless Raider. We could have put the Ruthless Raider up. We don't need uh, to control the air or space. But Ruthless Raider being played out here. Oh no, he's just he's just trying to heal. Okay, his final heal here. Going down to 8. See, this is why I hate these tokens. You're, you, the whole game, you're moving them in and out. Dice is much better. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see what happens here. Sabine is actually uh, stuck, actually. I don't think Sabine has the power anymore to, to kill Palpatine. It has to play at least 3 KS20s this, this game. They just do not have what they need. I don't... I, okay, that makes sense to play the KS20 instead of just losing that unit because there's a, there's a Centennial on board. There's the Ruthless Raider completely controlling the board. There it is. I think that's game. Sabine will never be able to come back after this. Full control over air or space. Really strong units on the ground. It just seems like uh, Sabine is stuck here. And a Centennial. A big, big Centennial. 3-5 three, three, Centennial. 
Sabine is not coming back. Unless they push out some kind of medal ceremony or some kind of... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe they can uh, give some extra experience tokens to their units. I'm not sure. But Sabine is actually taking much more damage than the Palpatine. And this is really, really not normal. Sabine never wants to fall behind this far behind. Palpatine is active. Palpatine can steal the case 20 here. As a first act, he steals KS20, absolutely broken game, and Sabine loses the game here. Sabine can never come back after this. Ruthless Raider, with a Palpatine and a KS20, Sabine will never come back out of this. Sabine, I don't know what hurts Sabine insanely. Guys, go back in and, and check this game out. How did this happen? Was it that Death Star Trooper being on board, uh, allowing for the early trade? Was it Sabine missing the first play, turn one? Now he's all he has is the For, <laughs> for Honor event to do a 3-4 damage every, every time. Okay, that's it. Yeah, he, pa he, gives, uh, he plays those two cards <laughs> and then says, thank you for the game. Let's go to game three. Let's go. Whoever doesn't believe in Palpatine, you better start believing right now. Start believing the Palp. I think what hurts Sabine the most is just not playing anything turn one. And then Palpatine playing something turn one just broke the game for Sabine. Just Sabine was never able to come back from that. And then also having a Star Viper that never left the game for four, five, six turns changed the game for Sabine. And there's also one turn where we healed four damage with the, with the help of the Euleran Emperor guy, Emperor's Guard. Huge plays there, really smart plays by the Palpatine. Guys, a lot of people don't believe in the Palpatine, but I mean, if you can heal that much, that's insane. So I think that's the only problem Palpatine was struggling with. He didn't have the healing. But if you can figure out that healing, you're, you're happy. All right, let's see. Looks like Sabine's gonna initiative. There's another thing that happened. Wasn't it? Initiative was with Sabine last game too. So it's not initiative that... Makes the big difference. It's the, your first play. Okay, there we are. We get the Death Storm Trooper here. Oh, we up to shuffle the deck? Why? Is he looking for a Star Viper? I thought that was a great hand. We had a one cost Death Storm Trooper. We had Ruthless Raider for mid game. We didn't have any healing or any Centennial. Maybe that's what he was looking for or any Admirals or any officials. Maybe he wants at least one official in hand, so when he draws the Emperor Guard, it, it activates. I don't know. We'll see. I thought it was a great hand. All right. Okay, there it is. We got the Emperor's Guard. It's almost a similar hand. Actually, a little bit worse, because now we don't have anything to play turn one. It's actually a similar hand. It's a Ruthless Raider, you got the Vader, you got the Imperial Interceptor. We do have a Guard though in hand. Alright Sabine, good luck baby. Okay, Sabine activate. Okay, this is already... Alright, I already... From this first play, I already predict Sabine is going to win this game. One of the best, strongest first plays that Sabine has. Going to space, nothing can deal with space in the hand right now. It's going to take him at least a turn or two to go into space and deal with it. I think this is the best thing Sabine can do is go into space turn one. Force us to deal with whatever is in space. And then the second we deal with it, you go into ground. Or just wider in space, go wider in space. I'm already seeing a better start here for Sabine, so let's see how she goes. Okay, I can't see a single card. I know it's a rebel fighter. So the space unit is going to deal 5 damage next turn, potentially. I think we're going to put the attack pod into the resources. There it is. Sabine puts the attack pod in the resources. First thing we're going to do is play the Rebel Fighter to shoot 5 damage into the Papatine. There we are. So now we have full control. We have space control. And then we have something on the board that we can deal with that Viper with, but we don't want the Viper to eat us, actually. Unfortunately, the Viper is going to eat us. Maybe we should have waited for Viper to attack there. There we are. We're going to open fire the squadron, and then we're going to just attack into the Rebel fighter, and so now Sabine lost all the momentum she had. 
So that was a misplay, I believe. Maybe she should he should have Sabine should have just attacked and then opted to play something else. Uh, another Sabine or uh, God damn it, man. Or Centennial. Man, I don't know. I think that was bad. But but we didn't know that there was an open fire in hand, but we should have just assumed. Okay, another squadron comes out. It's really strong to keep that air control. Keeping those units in space is insane. It's, it's really valuable for us. We have open fire to shoot it down. We could just play an Emperor's Guard. Instead, we're going to opt for a Death Stormtrooper. Okay, at least that deals with the Sabine here. Um, Sabine can pull out as well this turn after she deals damage. I think Sabine is having a great game here. We can play the Emperor, or no, we're going to play the Open Fire and shoot out the Squadron, potentially. Yep. The problem is we don't have any way to control space, so we have to get rid of every space unit he uses. Sabine shoots one. Sabine pulls up. And then Sabine shoots for three, and then pass. Looks like Emperor Palpatine just took initiative there. Okay, so Sabine is going to be dealing another six damage here. Wow. All right, we need to deal with this right now, Palpatine. I mean, Palpatine has nothing to deal with this. He has to kill his own unit here. So reducing three damage is really good, but we're still going to take another three here. And then it's really scary to play anything down because I see a Steadfast in hand for Sabine. Steadfast into ECL is crazy here. This is going to change the game. So it looks like there's a mess up here. Somebody Here it says 17 or 18. Here it says 13. Something is messed up here. Somebody did some kind of miscalculation. I, I actually don't know. Okay, there it is. Yep. Steadfast is broken. Overwhelming, leaving uh, two more damage. All the way 15. And then force choking the Sabine out. That's actually not great. We, we wanted to do that next turn. Because now Sabine can just shoot us down. So one thing I'm, I'm, I'm I don't know what the hell is happening here. But I don't know which one, which one of them has the right health. Because the Palpatine stopped, stopped messing around with his tokens. You know, a lot of people keep talking uh, about these tokens and how expensive they are and how they're looking for him. I think this is trash. I think it's the worst idea in the world to have these trash tokens in. They're just ruining the game, man. Most of the time, they're playing around the tokens more than they're playing with the game. And now, I don't even know what the hell the tokens represent anymore. I don't know if that's damage or just... I don't know. Yeah, finish your Coca-Cola, man. Cold con. Uh, no, a lot of people talk really... A lot of people, like, really want these tokens, bro. Just what's wrong with you, bro? Just play with the dice, man. Like, play with the dice. And then tap your card if you used it. Like, what the fuck? This guy flips them upside down. I like this idea. Why can't you just flip your cards upside down? Anyways, anyways, let's focus back up. Sabine is having an amazing game here. Much better than earlier. Palpatine, though, is catching up. He's getting to the point where he's going to be completely caught up here. If he steals the Steadfast, for example, that feels really good for him. The problem is Steadfast is going to do 5 damage here. And then Sabine just keeps pinging. And it's almost like we cannot deal with anything. Usually here, we can play Overwhelming Barrage to slow down the opponent. But we don't have anything on board to Overwhelming. Euleran can help heal now. But I'm not sure that's going to be enough. Sabine can just pop off whatever we just healed. Okay, now we cannot heal anymore. Wow, the wolf is going to change the game for us. A lot of people don't run wolf in Sabine. Wow, this is actually going to be very interesting. Shuts down the Sabine, uh, the healing completely. Now, unfortunately, Palpatine only has one, two cards. What is that, one card left? I don't even know where, where Palpatine's hand is anymore. But anyways, Palpatine... Has the Centennial... 
Sabine here should just ping and then take initiative and you're fine because now you can just overwhelm the Centennial and keep pushing damage. I think we just take initiative here, right? We just ping and take initiative. Oh no, we're gonna go for the wing leader into the wolf? Yeah, into the wolf. Makes total sense. Wolf stays alive. Every time wolf attacks now, no more healing. Makes sense. Wolf is our number one priority here. Wow, Sabine only has three damage onto her base. Yeah, yeah. This is how you know she's feeling amazing. She's feeling amazing, the Sabine. This is the finals, guys. The 1k finals. Final game, Sabine versus Palpatine. Put your money where your mouth is right now. Who's gonna win? It looks, it looks like clearly Sabine will do it. Oh my god. No, Palpatine slowly... I, I can feel it. I can feel the guy on the left here. I can feel his gestures. He's losing hope. <laughs> he's losing hope! He's now... He has zero cards in hand. No wonder he's losing hope. Papatine is in such a big struggle right now. All he has is this Vader. And Vader has to kill the Steadfast. Killing the Steadfast is not enough. Wolf is gonna stop healing. We need a Centennial. We need an Emperor gu a Guard. We have to pull an Emperor Guards. No Emperor Guards! No, we can play a Star Viper into a Death Stormtrooper. We can t we can play two units. We can play st Death Stormtrooper and Viper. It's a two cost and one cost. We can play. Don't you fucking dare play Super Laser. Play two units. No. Why is he playing one unit? He can play two units. He can't give experience to non rebel cards, so he lost the experience card. Oh my god. That's why Wolf lost the experience points. So instead of fixing it and putting it on the Steadfast, we just gave up the experience points completely. Oh my god, no, Sabine misplays, it's gonna cost the game. Because there we could have traded Vader for the Steadfast. This is a misplay, I think. We should not have played Super Laser. We should have played the Death Stormtrooper and the Viper to see the hand. We, that would have been a legal play. We could, you could play up uh, up to three costs, and that was a two and a one cost. This was a misplay, I believe. We don't need this guy. He's not gonna die this turn. If he dies this turn, it changes. I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But he's not gonna die this turn. We do heal one because of the Vader. We heal two because of the Vader in this because Wolf hadn't attacked yet. So it makes sense why we just went down to 18. Wolf is attacking now, no more healing. But we do have Centennial. Oh, Wolf, Wolf is a saboteur. It doesn't matter if we have Centennial or not. Looks like he took initiative, so we're just gonna take damage. Play one more unit and pump you, ping, ping one more damage to you. Sabine is getting there, guys. Sabine is getting there. Looks like in one turn, in, in, in three turns, it doesn't even matter if we have an Emperor a Centennial or not. We're going to lose. So we need to take control over the game this turn. This is our turn. If we cannot take it. No! Don't you dare do that! No, you fuck! No! Trash, man. What kind of competitive gameplay is this, man? Yo, this is not competitive. Play the game, man. You finally got to your Palpatine. You have a Centennial on board. I get it. He has a Saboteur. You have initiative. Token. Deal with him. Palpatine, zero, zero cards in hand. Finally got to eight resources and gives up. He forgot he has 30 HP. Bro, an overwhelming barrage would have won game there. An overwhelming barrage wins you game. 
wins you the game, doesn't even like flip you or anything, wins you the game. He would have had to draw the four, the, the event card that gives the extra damage. Or play down a KS20. I, honestly, fine. Uh, no, I'll be honest with you, Papatine. I, I'm surprised Papatine won game two. I'm surprised Papatine didn't win game two. So overwhelming barrage was drawn, was not drawn. Is that what happened? I don't think he even saw his cards. I think he just passed. Yeah, he did see. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you draw that, a Viper Cell block? Yeah, that's game over. Okay, I didn't see what he drew. I didn't see what he drew. Yeah, when you when you see you drew a Cell Block Viper, I, Cell Block is not bad, not against the Saboteur though. So that means he could have not even attacked into his Saboteur. That means he wouldn't have healed anything and he would have just died. Yeah, unfortunate. Good game. Good game from Sabine. Really good.